Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's see if this works. <laughs> I guess it's working. <laughs> Looks like it's working. Is this this is it YouTube live? Yep. Yeah. I even have my glasses. Oh, I can see it up there on the top left. Okay. So this is we never done a YouTube live. Have we? Nope. Obviously, because I don't know how to turn the computer on. Had to hit camera and accept and video and then audio. Yeah. We're non. I'm no, not, I'm non-technical. I'm technically challenged. I'm technically challenged with certain things. The other things, when it's in my wheelhouse, I understand this. This just happens to be one of the ones. That, so why are we here today? Okay, why are we here today? So um, I'm Brad. I'm Brad I'm Stash, <laughs> uh, With securityallstar.com. And uh, we get in a number of questions every day. We get calls in from either existing customers, potential customers who have questions about security systems all the time. Uh, and it's, I'm amazed people maybe have a system for two or three years and they decide they want to add something or they've never done something before. And so what I want to do is just try to add some, some a video about some basic Q and A uh, questions and answers that we've had over the years about security systems. Okay. So I'm going to ask you some questions and you're going to, that came from people who have yes. inquired and then you're going to answer them. Yeah. And there's a lot more questions in this. I mean, this is just, this is just some that we've, we've kept note of. And I, I mean, literally I get questions every day that people call and I go, Hey, what about blah, 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 blah. I'm like, Oh, that's a really great question. I don't get stumped too often anymore, but occasionally somebody will call in and I'll go, uh, let me research that. I'm not sure. Um, I, I guess can can I qualify uh, security history? Like yeah. So, been in the security business about fifteen years. Been in some some form of IT now for I'm getting old. Twenty years since like ninety, I think ninety eight. Yeah, ninety eight. December ninety eight. I, I quit my other career and went to work for uh, Quest Communication. So I have a little bit of. A little bit of technical background. I'm not the like the most technical person because you will not be answering all the technical, the real technical stuff because this is just basic stuff. This is basic stuff. Yeah, basic questions that people have about their security system. So um, why don't you? Mm. Okay. So one of the first questions that somebody asked was, "How fast are your response times if I have a break in?" Okay, so that's a very good question. Um, the nationwide average varies uh, with a lot of companies. And so some companies are not even even listed. Like I could sit here and name off some of the biggest companies out there who do monitoring and they're not even like in the top 20 listing. Okay. Okay. So we use, uh, well, let me back up. First in the business, we tried ADT for a very, very short period of time. Not a good deal or program, bad idea. Then uh, we moved to Monotronics because Monotronics had, had Pretty good ratings mm -hmm. on customer service. Uh, their response times, I think, average was like 19 seconds or something like that. It's pretty fast, so they were calling within 19 seconds. Um, but they had a real, their dealer program stank because, yeah. like, we would call and be on a hold forever and couldn't get if somebody had a problem and we couldn't get answers. So um, those, so we've had some experience with other monitoring stations. Now we're with Security Central. We've been with Security Central for going on several years. Going on four years now, three and a half years. Um, they're privately owned, privately held. They're the largest privately owned monitoring station in the United States. Um, when you call them, they're not going to transfer you 80 times. There's generally one voice prompt and somebody picks up. It's, it's that fast. They're great. Mm -hmm. And their average call time is about seven seconds. Um, we've tripped it at our office here pretty fast, you know, several times. Now, you can set a delay on your system where you're, they won't, it actually won't call until after 30 seconds. So if you have a couple of dum-dums like us who accidentally set off the alarm every now and then, and you don't or want to kids, be, or you just can't get to your panel in time. Yeah, I mean, at that at that point, you might want to put a delay because if you don't answer and the police get sent out more than a couple of times for false alarms, start alarm, charging you. They start not everywhere, but a lot of places start charging you for it. So yeah, it's okay. about seven or eight seconds. It's pretty fast. Okay. Security Central. That's who we use. Security Central. Okay. What payment options do you have, and what is the interest rate as far as I guess if you were to. Finance. Finance. Okay. So payment options for us, pretty much everything. Uh, we even take American Express now. But um, PayPal, mm -hmm. uh, we take PayPal, we take uh, initial payment, we'll take checks. Um, we have a lot of corporations that are customers now. 
and they want to use a purchase order system and they'll send us a check. So we wait till they send us a check. For the monthly recurring, though, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, PayPal, if you have a PayPal account. We have some customers that do PayPal they're monitoring. Yes, yes. And so uh, as far as um, uh, financing, though, we do have a financing option. It's done through a leasing company, and at the end of the lease, it's like a dollar buyout. Um, we're so inexpensive. You know, something I haven't done one of those in a while, though, because we're so inexpensive that, I mean, honestly, uh, most anybody can afford a basic system from us. They're under yeah. $400 for a full fledged system. And at that point, there's no interest. You know, yeah. I mean, it's that it has to be a very large purchase that somebody would need. Finance. Yeah. And it's not uncommon for somebody to call in and order a bunch of cameras and spend two or $3,000. Uh, I mean, you know, a bunch of equipment, but that's a bunch of equipment. That's, that's, yeah. that, that's, that's much more rare than somebody spending three to five hundred dollars. Right. OK. Long answer. Another question. Yes. Do you do free installations? So that's a great question. Um, we did installations for years. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know how long. Too long. I don't like installations. <laughs> Twelve years or so. Ten or so years. Yeah, something like that. Now, we occasionally do an installation um, for a corporate customer. Um, we do and we do those nationwide in all 50 states uh, for corporations. We do not do home installations except on a very rare occasion anymore. Yeah. And here's why: the system is so easy. Um, there's not a lot of wires and running wires and things. No, like that. there's no need to run a wire at all unless you're going to put in cameras and you have some power. And most of them come with a little stand. You can sit the stand in a window or a ledge. Uh, you really honestly at this point, because we pre program everything here in the office, um, all the information that you give us, we put with the monitoring station, we put all the peripherals in with the security system. So, so it's self explanatory. Yeah, when you get it out of the box, I mean, it's pretty easy to use. It, it's not, it's just yeah. not difficult. Most anybody can do it. So, you really don't have to have installations. So, the answer is we hate doing installations. <laughs> You can, but it's really not necessary. You can, it's not necessary. And uh, if you are a corporate customer, we have some multi-site corporations that use us. Um, we, we, uh, um, I think one of them have, actually both of them have about 300 locations each. Now we do the installations for them. Um, and it's kind of interesting how we get that process done. We do subcontract with very competent companies they know what they're doing, um, and it's generally they're generally on they're generally on site less than two hours. Uh, it's fast. So the free aspect would be when they ask, "Is there a free installation?" Really, for an individual home, you can do it yourself. Need <laughs> you really, I mean, it's like peel off the back of the thing and stick it on the door, and uh, yeah, same thing with motion sensors. It's just two small screws. Now it. But you could walk somebody through it on the phone if they had a question. You could, but we don't even, you don't have to do that with us. We have a video for almost everything now. So, um, and, and for us, tech support is a little bit more. A lot of out-of-the-box experiences on, on our station. On YouTube, yeah. yeah. So, now, if you got grandma and, or grandpa and they need to be helped and they're, you know, 80-something years old. Like our parents would need help. Our, uh, yeah, probably so. Um, aging, my mother almost definitely. Um, I can't see your mother. Depends on how technical they are and how gifted <laughs> they are mechanically. Because I'm I'm forty something and I'm you, not mechanical. You, you, uh, <laughs> then you can't put in the security system. You probably can't put in the security system. There you go. Yes. There's the answer. Okay. <laughs> Will this have any effect on my insurance if I have a security system? Absolutely. So uh, the minimum is usually 10%. Sometimes it's more. Uh, definitely helps. It, it definitely helps. As a matter of fact, if if you go from a landline system to a cell-based system and you add in uh, the the certificate that you give to the, to the insurance company, it's going to save you about 10% on your insurance. That alone almost pays for the monthly monitoring. Mm -hmm. But there's another piece you can add on too, which is if you add on automation, auto, if you add on an automated thermostat of some kind, you're going to save, you're going to save probably 10% on your heating and air conditioning. Um, and so, I mean, the system really can pay for itself. Absolutely. can. Yes. Okay. Good investment. 
Next, can I watch my system through my cell phone or iPad or Android pad or computer, whatever? If you have cameras, you can. So you have to have a camera. <laughs> you have to have cameras. Um, this is like, yes, so here's a camera. Picture of an iPhone and an Android phone on the back right there. So if you can't see it, there it is. Uh, the answer is yes. And um, every, most every company charges extra for the video. If you're getting a pulse system that's got alarm.com, they charge extra. But this system right here, UltraSync Hub, no charge for the video. I have to pay for the cameras, um, but there's no charge for the video service. It's it's free. Yeah. yeah. Good service. Inexpensive. And where could they find out pricing for all the extras, cameras, things like that? Great question. So securityallstar.com is the website. Um, if you go into the search menu, just type in security system. You'll have four options pop up. There's one for Qualsys, one for Interlogix. Those are the two best places to find those. If you have questions, you can call us. I can tell you the cameras $127.50. Uh, we, I believe that we are the least expensive in the professional range of security systems. I'm not, I'm not comparing us to like the what you would buy at Sam's Club or Lowe's or anywhere else. I'm trying, right? Just yes. Keep, keep, what she said. <laughs> okay. Junk. I think there's one last question. It's probably something that most people are going to ask okay. is how much is your video monitoring? What is the cost for the monitoring okay. itself? So again, there's differences between these two systems right here. Uh, this is the cost of system. It is the number one selling system in the United States right now where you happen to sell the system. Okay. Mm -hmm. This system uh, is the, the, the video per month is an average of about $10 a month. Most customers fall in that $10 per month category for video. Okay. That's why I dearly love this system right here. Nothing. Video costs nothing. Nothing. Extra. Now, you have to buy the cameras. Right. But the app comes with the ability to view video right. That's uh, cool. Yeah. I mean, it's it's no extra at all. And we're not talking about junk. I mean, this, for, for those of you who don't know who Interlogix is, Interlogix is, bought GE Security five or well, I guess going six years ago now. They're the largest manufacturer of security equipment in the United States. They are huge. They're in 70 something countries. All these come equipped with, I mean, the out of the box languages for English, English, Spanish, French. I don't know what else. Maybe Swahili. Lots of options. Swahili, I don't know. But, but this is an awesome system and they don't charge anything extra for the apps, the automation, or the video. Okay. That's great news. Pretty cool stuff. Yes. And very reasonably priced, I think. Yes. Are there any more? I was like, what about, uh, I did write one or two. Okay. Though. So this, this particular question says, I have Sprint. Will your system work with Sprint? So is there specific, is it specific to a mobile carrier? So this is one of the, this is the reason I wrote those two down. The, mm -hmm. the, this is one of the most confusing questions that I get on the phone all the time regarding security systems. Um, you know, I what, see what, on, with what phone I have. Well, yeah, they'll go the long list. So I see this is a Verizon and this is an AT and T. That's what comes with certain cards. Now this this is a game changer again. You keep sending me for reference. This system yeah. is less money and it's better. It's better. <laughs> it Just is, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I'm, I'm gonna show you why. So this is the cell card that comes. At, well, it goes in this this system here. Okay? okay. It does not matter with either system who your provider is. If you have T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, okay, anybody who you have service to, it does not matter which system you buy. The only reason some of these are labeled Verizon or AT&T is because that's what comes in them, and you need to talk with us to get you the best one for your serving area. In other words, you live on the northeast suburb of Chicago. And um, you may have some sketchy service for AT&T, but we log into our map. It's a geocentric map, which which will tell us who the best provider is in your area. To and know we'll, which system is better for them. Well, only out of this one. So I that would be one. Verizon or AT&T. Okay. Now, this system here is different. This system here comes with this kind of uh, SATA card that goes in it, which works over three different SATA networks. Okay. It roams and calls virtually every single corner of the United States. Now, if you live in Glacier National Forest and you only hang out with the bears. It might not work. This is probably not gonna work. But nothing would work. That's right. <laughs> so it's you ain't getting that nothing up there. You just better have a big gun. That's about it. For the, for the bears. If you live with the bears, you need, you, you don't need this, you need a big gun. 
Makes okay, sense. that makes sense. Yeah, that's a good question. I had never really thought about that question. I never thought about an answer I just gave either. <laughs> How does two-way mm. voice work? I don't even know what two-way voice is. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Okay. So um, on the uh, paperwork that we have, number six, it's number six on there. I get, a, I get quite a few questions about two-way voice. Two-way voice is literally for PERS, Personal Emergency Response System, which usually is for indigent care, long-term care, people who elderly. need elderly. Mm -hmm. I've fallen and I can't get up. I need help. That's what that is for. Okay. So uh, now you can use it in, in, in a, a, other ways. There's an extra service for two-way voice. It's a couple of dollars a month, something like that. I don't know that we have... Any customers that use that? I don't think we I don't do. Think that we do. And we got a lot of customers. It's just not a very common. But it, if people have questions about it because they they see it. Both these systems will do two way voice. We don't do a lot of indigent care or per systems simply because of the nature of our business. It's a do it yourself system. Right. Um, and most people that are in that condition, I guess, are not looking for what we Unless have. Unless somebody's doing it, putting it in for them. Unless somebody's doing it for them. And there's some people who market heavily in that business. That's that's their business. They really go after the PERS, mm -hmm. uh, personal emergency response system. We just don't do that. Um, but I mean, we can. We can, but you really do need somebody on your end to install the system because if somebody who needs that type of care, they're not going to be installing. This is more for you to monitor them than them to monitor the house. If that makes that sense. makes sense. Yes. Does that help for two-way voice? Yeah, it does. All right. So who are we? We are Security All Star. SecurityAllStar.com and our tagline is providing powerful protection for everything you hold dear. Go online, check us out. www.SecurityAllStar.com. Um, I highly recommend the systems. <laughs> These two. Actually, okay. and listen again like we started at the very beginning of, of the video, we have the option to carry or sell any system we want to carry or sell. Um, and and it's, these are the two that we think are the best. These are the two after looking at pretty much everything in, 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 in the marketplace. This one has kind of that sex appeal for the cool touchscreen. Um, it's a little bit more expensive. Honestly, there are so many features that are getting uh, upgraded on, on this one. I think it's surpassed the Qualsys system. Okay. Uh, and it's less expensive. Okay, good right. to know. We hope, we hope we answered we answered some of your questions. Yeah, and there's a whole bunch more. We'll, we'll come back and do it. Are you sure you want to end? Yes. Well, they ask you everything two or three times. Because they want to make sure you didn't hit accidentally. Uh,